so it is not a normal vlog that I'm doing today. It's a video on a more serious note that I just wanted to get out there because I feel inspired by all the other videos who are doing it and I wanted to make my own, tell my own stories and so today is Tuesday, August 20th and it's almost one and this is probably going to be my last video on Lake Zurich before I move on Thursday. So I don't know if it's becoming like a trendy thing to do but I just wanted to make this video so I can help other people who are feeling or who have had felt the same kind of I don't know like stress that I have and that my friends have for sure and I just want to say that it gets better. Like, I came out to myself. First, I came out as bisexual. I wasn't exactly sure what I was, who I liked, if it was normal or okay. And that I was probably 13. Yeah, 13 when I first started thinking like am I bi or am I straight or what and then for a long time um, I identified as lesbian because I just wasn't attracted to men and then recently within the last year I feel that's changed and now I am happily able to say that I have come out well I am coming out I guess right now <laughs> I'm coming out as pansexual and pansexual is sexual attraction towards, I don't want to say anything, but any person of any gender. So male, female, FTM, MTF, whatever, I mean, gender really doesn't matter to me. You fall in love with who you fall in love with. And only my friends really know that. I'm pansexual, but oh well, now the world knows. But for a long time I was struggling to tell mainly my dad that I was anything other than straight because I was afraid that it was going to really upset him if I settled down with another woman who we can't really truly get married to who I can't truly have kids with, but I didn't want to upset him at all, and so I just kept it in, I mean, and I felt awful. I, keeping it in was the worst thing I could have done. I was getting sick more than normal, I mean, I was always stressed when my dad was talking about me getting married and I was just, it was to the point where I was getting sick to my stomach and I, I have this skin thing called hyperalgesia and that's, it can be caused by trauma or in my case when the body or the mind is like super stressed out or anything, the uh, sensory nerves for pain flare up and increase like sensitivity, the increases in sensitivity and it is the worst thing I've ever felt. I haven't had it as much recently but when I'm like, when I go from a state of normalcy to terrified it feels like needles and all over my body and when it's there for a long time it feels like um, like when you have a bruise and you touch the bruise that's what it feels like over my whole body and there's no bruises there except on my hands and my feet so I had finally picked up the courage to tell my mom that I'm questioning my sexuality 
and she was totally okay with it. I mean, I figured she would because she's very open about these things. And I remember telling her it was one of the hardest things, actually, because we were at a Red Robin. Because I told her that I had something that I wanted to tell her. And because I was going through a really rough time. This was maybe two years ago, junior year of high school. And I was really stressed out about the ACT, really stressed out about maybe not getting into college because my grades were really bad junior year. And like my dad was just hammering me about these, my grades and it was really a stressful period in my life and I just wanted to get that off my chest so that was not something I had to worry about. So we went to a Red Robin that night and about halfway through the dinner you know I told her that I had something I wanted to tell her and hold on I feel like I'm about to sneeze I don't think I'm straight like I think I'm bisexual or something and she was totally okay with it and I'm really thankful for that my mom has been my guardian angel through these past really stressful years and so yeah but at one point I was failing math horribly this would have been about December of 2011 and it had gotten so bad at my dad's house that I just felt I should tell him and get it over with. He came up to my room and he asked me if there was anything on my mind that bothered me. And I, I told him there is, but I don't know, there's no easy way to say it. And that I didn't want to upset him or anything. And he said he wouldn't be upset at all. And so I was, at this point I was bawling. I was really upset and I was just crying nonstop. And I said, Dad, I think I like girls. And we haven't really talked about it much since then. He doesn't really reference it at all, or maybe he's trying to like put it out of his mind. So that kind of, I don't know, that just doesn't really sit well with me, but since then I've been a lot happier knowing that I have told him, even if he doesn't like want to think about it or anything I still know that I've told him and I feel just a lot happier now I mean all my friends have known for the past since you know, five years since when this whole thing started and they've been my rock and my mom is my rock too and senior year came along and I just felt a lot better going into it because junior year was behind me I got a decent score on the ACT I got decent grades but I was planning on really busting it senior year and by the end of senior year I got six A's and two B's so go me and I got accepted into Northern Illinois University which I'm going to next week, not next week, in two days. Oh my god. And I got accepted to a German program 
well, a foreign language program altogether, but a German program, and I, it, it's going to help me on my way to my absolute passion, which is I want to teach English in Germany, and I think that would be just amazing. And I feel like I've been so much happier since I got that off of my chest. And, I mean, now I'm sticking up for even more for others who have not overcome this hill yet. And I'm sticking up for all my friends that are LGBT community members who either have or have not overcome that. I have a lot of gay friends. I have two transgender friends. They are both FTM. You may or may not have seen them in my Alpine Parade video, Mitch and Luke. I got a text message. And they're Mitch and Luke, and I have a couple lesbian friends and bisexual friends, and I stick up for them when they need help, and I just stick up for random people on the internet. I saw a transgender uh, MTF. She was being bullied for not looking like a woman but having a female name online and but she looked like a man in her picture because she'd not yet started like the full transformation and I basically said to leave her alone. She may just be in the beginning of her journey and I know that a lot of transgender people don't have the money for hormones or for for surgery and I mean Mitch just got approved for hormones but that was lucky I mean he said that they took his insurance which I'd never heard of before and I mean a lot of transgender people are not that lucky and they can't afford hormones or they can't afford surgery and if they're, say, they're really feminine, but they want to be a guy, it's hard for them to accept themselves, as well as others accepting them. And I just want to say that no matter who you are, what you identify as, who you love, what you look like even, it doesn't matter to me. I think you are perfect, and I think you should not change who you are, and just continue being you, and just know that I love you. Just embrace who you are, and don't give up hope, because it definitely gets better. Another turn I wanted to take on this is size. Now, I was always the bigger girl in my class, ever since I can remember. And I got my growth spurt way before most people because I have an in, uh, imbalance in hormones because I, I was born with neuroblastoma, which is a rare childhood cancer. And they found it right here in my adrenal gland. And when I was, they found it in an ultrasound. They didn't know what it was, but they found out that it was cancer. And they had to remove one of my adrenal glands when I was a month old. And both adrenal glands regulate hormones. So I have very imbalanced hormones. And I mean, you may hear like jokes about you know, girls on their periods who are like way moody and angry and sad and well, that's me every day. I can be totally happy, cheery, giggly, and then something so minor happens and I get enraged or I get so depressed. But another thing that it regulates is 
hormones like puberty that help with puberty. So I got my growth spurt at like seven or eight. And I started going to puberty at like eight and that was really bad. And it also I read it up on it and it said it also regulate helps regulate metabolism. So I have a really bad metabolism, so it's harder for me to lose weight than a lot of people. So I've always been, I mean, I'm, I've always been a bigger girl. And recently I have tried, I've been on a weight loss regime, if that's the right word, since May. The day after I graduated was the first day that we started it. And because since I was changing my name, for the past 18 years I've gone as Marley. And the spelling of that has changed briefly, but in college I wanted to go by my full name, which is Marlena. And I just thought it'd be more adult to go with Marlena, so since I'm changing my name, why not change my whole lifestyle? So I took up boxing, and I've been on a diet for, it's about three months now, almost three months. And so, I mean the scale hasn't really gone down much. I've lost about maybe 10, 15 pounds in three months. I mean that does sound like a lot once you put it up like that, but the, like, the way my body looks has changed drastically. So here I'll put a picture before, and here is a picture that I just took this morning. So you can see that my body has changed a lot since I graduated high school, and I just want to say for anyone out there who is having trouble losing weight like I have been, or anyone that doesn't feel comfortable in their own skin, whether they be size 24 or even size double zero, and for those people who don't feel comfortable being too skinny, it definitely gets better because high school people have people look at you and they judge you based on how you look, how you act, how big you are, how small you are, how tall you are, how short you are. And since going to DeKalb on various college trips, I have seen none of that. Nobody really cares anymore. I mean, high school everybody is super judgmental and I felt that in college they're really not because they're not as focused on reputation and like who's better than everybody else like people are in high school so I've changed for myself you should never change because somebody tells you to or somebody wants you to you should change because you want to and I have lost 15 pounds now because I want to I've taken up boxing, I have changed my diet completely, and I feel a lot better now that I have gone from pretty much sedentary lifestyle to fairly active. I mean, I don't play any sports or anything, but I box three times a week at Title Boxing Club, but you probably already knew that because I have a video on it. And I think that's all I really just wanted to say. Whether you are gay, straight, bi, transgender, whether you are morbidly obese or dangerously skinny, you're perfect. And no matter what you're going through right now, if you're going through bullying or teasing or 
lack of self-worth if you don't think you mean much to yourself and you may be leaning towards suicide don't it gets so much better and I know I'm only 18 but I've already felt the effects of going down the slope and then now I'm on my way back up and here I am going to college in two days just it gets better if you're if you are feeling any doubts about yourself you can always message me on my channel and I will gladly be there to help you because I have given advice to a lot of people whether they be online or in person I am willing to help you become who you want to be so if you're having any doubts about yourself or if you're having any lack of self-worth self just send me a message tell me about what's going on and I'll be on my channel I'll be checking my channel almost every day this week and next week so just send me something and I will be willing to give you advice and make your outlook on life a lot better. So, that's it. I love you.